What is up my Irish bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Black Ops Cold War's download, download size, when to download and everything like that. With Black Ops Cold War's release being November 13th and if you have pre-ordered the game digitally, this is digitally only on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Xbox x or xbox series s or on the pc you can pre-download the game early activision made a post on their website all about this sadly if you have downloaded or have a physical copy of the game you cannot pre-download the game so the confrontation weapons pack of course Anyone who knows about this pack knows that pre-ordering the game you get Woods Operator Pack for both Modern Warfare and Warzone. With Woods you also get the Confrontation Pack for Black Ops Cold War only. This pack is available to you once you have unlocked Create a Class. This Create a Class is unlocked at level 5. The pack gives you two rifles style to show the cultural divide between East and West cold war forces representing the ussr is the iron curtain an assault rifle based on an iconic soviet heavy hitting weapon the other blueprint the western front is a three round burst tactical rifle with plenty of patriotic flair both blueprints will include five pre-configured attachments allowing you to experiment with these attachments before they are unlocked organically on that specific weapon both of these blueprints can be found and equipped in creative class moving to the pre-downloading or pre-loading details both the ps4 and xbox one pre-downloading starts today at 9 p.m pacific time which is 5 a.m for anyone in the likes of ireland england basically ireland and the uk pc players can start their pre-downloading of black ops cold war on november 10th at 10 a.m pacific time which again is 6 p.m in ireland and england anyone on pc can find black ops cold war under partner games in battle dot net launcher next gen consoles will start when the consoles launch so november 10th for both the xbox series x and xbox series s and november 12th for the playstation 5 users file size at launch is actually quite big for the ps4 we have 95 gigabytes however on the next gen console for the ps5 is 133 gigabytes xbox one also starts at 93 gigabytes and both the xbox series x and xbox series s are 136 gigabytes also to reduce the game's overall size or file size you can uninstall specific game mode packs for example campaign once you are done the campaign or even zombies this content can be managed in game through the account and network section of the settings menu just like we were able to do or we had in modern warfare this to me is ridiculous how can the game be so so big with modern warfare the file size hit well over 200 gigabytes when you had everything installed whereas you have the likes of microsoft's flight simulator that's coming out shortly that only takes up 150 gigabytes and that has the whole world in it so i don't understand how it's so big compared to the flight simulator of course now on the next gen consoles with them being 130 trigger guides for the playstation 5 and both the xbox series s and x being 136 gigabytes we could potentially see that only being the file sizes for multiplayer campaign and zombies we don't know if this is going to have warzone in them at least i hope it does if it does it's actually not that bad but personally i don't think it is i think warzone is going to be a separate thing that you will have to download separately so pc players the multiplayer will be 35 gigabytes big the full size 
of the game being 82 gigabytes and the full game on ultra graphics is 125 gigabytes and there are a bunch of different packs that we'll be able to download separately we got the dead ops arcade which is 4.8 gigabytes big the campaign pack 1 being 13.5 gigabytes campaign pack 2 being 17.9 gigabytes in size and then finally the campaign pack 3 being 11.5 gigabytes big then we have zombies the base installation for this is 3.8 gigabytes and finally then the multiplayer base installation is 10.6 gigabytes so obviously zombies will only have one map for the launch which is the machine and of course there'll be of course tons of other maps coming out once the whole kind of road map or the future of this game is kind of put on on a road and just gone with so this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my youtube channel beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel mainly about cod but of course i'll have other videos coming out as well or whenever i go live on my youtube channel which is rare speaking of live streams i tend to live stream weekly on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on my twitch account i also have a twitter account that i manually update whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below as well and yeah that is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace